Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the United States of America. Here in Hearts of Iron 4, modern day. So, in the last episode, we declared war on, I think, two other nations. No, I think we're declaring war on these two. And then we're going to keep going down. The reason that I don't, like, justify a mass war and just keep going is because some of them will deteriorate by the time I get there and just going to be... A more lengthy process also I'm gonna see if I can find them I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to yeah there we go the Germans got a new truck as well a new what is it called model for their truck so that's exciting so hopefully you'll be able to see that in action but yeah we're just gonna continue doing what we do best we also need to sort out a few things. Okay, so our guns are filled. Ooh, what is this? Right! Right! I forgot! We're at war with the CSTO. Oh my gosh! <laughs> the big war began, I forgot. Okay, so Britain... Uh, yes, of course, come and aid us. Yes, of course, come aid us. Germany... Yes, of course. I'm do the same. Turkey, you're a part of it, right? Yeah, so Turkey. I'm going to... I could basically call everybody into arms, but... I'm gonna see who has the biggest militaries out of the bunch. Poland is a pretty decent. Romania, are you a part of us? God, it's... Ah. Alright, let's, so let's... Let's look at, uh... The current walls. So I'm guessing it's this one. Yes, with Russia. So we're gonna want... We don't need to call in Canada... Actually, we'll call in Canada, see if they'll do it. United kind of Kingdom's already come. So, Spain. You'll come in. Portugal. Belgium. Germany, I already called. Poland. Norway, you can't really do much, so I'm gonna wait. Italy will come in as well. Turkey. Basically, the big ones. Russia. Romania. And the rest of them, if they wish to join, can come in. But for us, who are we at war with on this side? We are at war with El Salvador? So which army is this? That's you. Okay, so you're going to just freaking push. That was a terrible, a terrible looking plan. So let's just do that and uh, insta start you. Who are you, sir? You are just going to push and insta start you as well. Okay, let's not go on four speed anymore. So yes, 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 yes. Okay. Let's go. So we're gonna start fighting. Getting these nations. Russian called in Armenia, which is fine. Uh, France wants to give me expeditionary forces. Russia, that's fine. Nowhere close to us. We need to send some forces down. We already have some tanks being made. So let's get some mechanized over to Washington. These motorized and mechanized can go as well. We're going to need to send a pretty decent force out. So this is uh, just an infantry division. So we'll send them on the head. Who else is fit national guard i want to keep all the national guard guys here just because you know they don't need to come but basically we need to get a force ready to go over to europe because there's going to be a fight there for a while okay so that's fine so el salvador take all states and done we already obliterated them i mean in the end of it, we may not actually be at war with them. I have no idea what's going to happen. But it looks like everybody's starting to line up and get their things together. What's happened? Oh my gosh. Good. Understood. So they fell apart as well, which, of course, is magical. So we got... Sure... Denmark, I'm surprised I didn't call you in earlier. Netherlands, sure. Croatia, sure. Greece? 
Okay. Yeah, bro. You can come in. Albania. I guess so. Lithuania. I don't want those nations that are really, really close to join because they could get, uh, like, invaded super fast. But basically, this is, I mean, it's a world war. Everybody's going to join. Norway, sure. Iceland. I don't know how much help you're going to be, Iceland, but sure, you can join us. Okay, so the war has started. And of course, it's going to be one hell of a ride as we run down the Russians. Hopefully. Turkey, I called you in already, didn't I? So you're already getting patched up and ready to fight. Very good. Greece is already set. Italy, I think, has probably sent most of its troops onward. Yes, of course. Um, you guys, are you guys a part of us? I don't think you guys are. You guys are in here. Did I call you in? I mean, you have 19 divisions. It's worth it. Did I call you into war yet? No, I didn't. Here, join us. There we go. Just so we have some more divisions. And they're already running down the Russians over in this area anyway, so we're fine. What is this? Some more troopers. Slovakia, sure. Luxembourg, sure. Hungary, sure. This is going to be one hell of a war. Come soon. Uh, for these 20-something divisions, I'm going to keep them under one force, and I'm going to start putting them over in yonder. I do want a decent military being able to defend us at home, but I don't know how well they will be. I'll keep some troops here. I don't need your exponentiary forces. Thank you very much. French, you can do what you wish. So here we go. The war begins. The Brits have started sending their troops over as well. The war starts! The gigantic war starts once more. This is gonna be exciting. Because, I mean, it's just a full-fledged, like, fight to the end. Now, Kiev has a decent... I mean, they're here. Would they want to join us? No. They're saying, fuck you. We would not want to do that. South Korea, would you want to join us? No. Okay, so none of them want to join. Which makes sense in the end, because if I was any smaller nation, I'd be like, I don't want to have to fight your war for you, though. But thanks for, you know, asking. I mean, it makes me happy, but no, I'm not going to just do that. So are they going to start running down these troopers, or are they just trying to get themselves set? This war is going to be terrifying. Um, I can set some of my planes up over yonder. I could probably blow up Minsk. Do they have a close airport, like right on the side? The closest one they got is kind of like right here. 1200, so I'm going to throw in... Bop. For now. And then we'll throw in the others, but we need to change our... Uh, forces from not volunteer. We need to change it to at least limited subscription for now, so that way we can get some more troopers. We're in a world war now. We have to be set and ready. So the Russians look to be... What are these? Those are our troops, I think. I think. I'm not sure. Armenia has fallen to Turkey. Good job, Turkey. They are pushing right now. Very good. Enjoying the fact that Turkey is winning their wars. Just watch out, because any of these major nations can join the CSTU at any time, and that's what I'm terrified of. So I gotta wait until those planes are set, and they're still deploying, which is fine. Once they are on standby, then we're gonna be in action. So I'm gonna get my other uh, planes started. Are we able to- Ugh, there's so many troops! I can't even get to the airport. Okay, there we go. Can I throw in the bombers now? Just a little bit over, but that's not the worst thing in the world. We'll be fine. I just need to get enough to where I can fly and get air superiority in these lands so that way we can start the bombing raids. 
Okay, so Turkey just took out the next nation. Palestine has joined the CSTO. I wonder. They are... Israel is justifying a war against Palestine. It would be great if we could invite Israel. Cyprus has joined. That's fine. One of the most tiniest nations. We're going to be okay. They called in Cyprus, which is fine. Fighters, I want you over in Belarus. Get some air superiority and interception in the area. Thank you very much. Lebanon has joined the CSTO. Strategic bombers now to Belarus. I hope I'm saying that right. Strategic bombing. So now I can bomb Minsk. First nuke about to be dropped right on. Let's go. <laughs> the first nuke has been dropped upon the enemy. Look at these American planes showing our fighter power. So it looks like the Russians are pretty decent on the top here. Now we got a lot of troops on the European border, so we don't really need to worry. But we're going to need to send some troops onward somewhere. We're probably going to just send the troops over to Europe. It looks like a lot of Brits are also coming and the Canadians are coming as well. Do they join us? Good. Good job. I'm so proud of them. It's so one of the first American legions going to be setting foot in France. Let me get them set. Uh, these 11 troopers are also going to be going, but the 16 are going to stay home because we do not want a war. Good God, there they are. <laughs> we do not want a wall. Now, I'm going to dismantle these troops, give them all to him, and have these troopers, these tanks, go to France as well. Because the French need our backing, and of course all of them need our backing. Now what I want you to do, sir, is garrison as much of, you know, here as possible. And then we'll probably make a force out of the rest of the guys and have them garrison the east side. We should be fine with all of these troops. But now we're sending our own. We're showing them the might of the Americans are coming as well. Oh my gosh, look at them. Rampaging through after that bomb they were doing very well. And plus the air superiority is definitely going to help them out. So how have you guys been? I've been swell. I've been hanging out with family for the weekend. I'm about ready to go back to my campus to start the next weeks of college. So, very, very excited, of course. But that doesn't matter. War is happening. So, uh, another thing that's been uh, on, apparently, a lot of people's minds when they have been uh, messaging me through, like, Twitter or things like that is the new YouTube policies that have thrown out that are completely absurd. But... I mean, they're not going to happen forever. They just can't do it. It's just not going to happen. Literally, it's just, they can't. YouTube's going to fall into, like, they're going to commit their own suicide if they do that. So, you know, I don't know what YouTube has, is trying to do, but it's not going to work. And we're going to be fine. They're going to end up changing their policies soon enough, or YouTubers are going to leave. Guaranteed. can almost guarantee that. The Russians are going to be the hard ones to take out, guaranteed. The Russians are going to be difficult, but it's going to be fine. Okay, so we can start researching some more. Research special forces. And then night vision. A lot of military things we need to research now. Belarus is falling apart rather swiftly. It's great. They are rampaging right now. Awesome to see. Where are our troopers? They're close. We're sending them, don't worry. We're not going to have as much as the rest of the nations here, but, you know, we're going to show our face. 
We have to get to Moscow and of course St. Petersburg. We need to take all of these fine areas. And Volgograd. I know I just butchered that, so I'm very, very sorry, but oh well. It'll be fine. Poland is doing fantastic, pushing straight through with Lithuania. Yes. Not seeming to do too hot on this attack right here, but the rest of them, they're doing fine. So we get the School of Ideology. Good, good. Now, I'm guessing I want to do this. Right, yes. And then we can go down to... Yeah, yeah, So I'm going to do that. We don't need to worry a whole bunch about war right now. But we are pushing into, it looks like, parts of Russia, so that's very fine, very fine indeed. Are Americans there yet? Yes. Our first batch of American troops are here. Belarus has capitulated. I'm going to give them over, so when these guys come in, I'm going to make a gigantic army. Nice! France owns the rest of their territory, which is funny. But they do own it. So now we're actually pushing into what looks to be the actual Russian border. And we're just going to be fighting against the Russians for the rest of the time. Turkey's kind of stuck. They don't really have a way. You guys, you guys are in NATO. You guys are already participating in the war. So maybe Turkey sent some of their troops on. I have no idea. I think they did. My gosh, look at this. They're like, there's no fucking around now. War started. The big war, NATO versus the CSTO. We're finally going to see who's going to win, and I'm guaranteeing you all know that's going to be. Did we already but Yeah, the 11, and then the 16, so we're almost there. Almost there. Sorry about that. I had to talk to my familia, but it's fine. Good God, why can I not scroll? There we go. So I'm going to put all of these troops under him. Can I do that? Yes. It's actually going to equal completely 24. Now, which part do I want to be upon? Uh, it looks like the northern part's probably going to have the toughest time. So I'm going to make my line from here to about, say, there. And we're going to make our own battle plan to push up like that. We're doing very well, though, against the Russians. I don't think they're going to be able to withstand a chance. The only other thing that I could possibly think the Russians would do that would actually make it to where they have a really big fighting chance is calling in China and trying to get China to join the CSTO and then them booking their gigantic army over. That's like the only thing else that I can think of. Besides that, the Russians will die. So there comes our American troopers, ready to fight the Great War. So now that I have those planes in Belarus, I wonder, can they reach up to Moscow? No, they cannot. So we need to get them a better airport. Okay, so we can fly them up to here. To zero, zero. I don't know what that means. Yeah, so they actually can't be stationed there at all, which is awesome. It's 400. When's this one? 600. I have nine, so that's not going to be a great thing. Fuck! I need to get air superiority over in this area. Uh, Let's go ahead and throw them over here, and then we'll grab... The strategic bombers and fly them over yonder. And then we'll set them up to try to get near Moscow and try to nuke the Russians. Because if we can nuke them, oh my, if we can nuke them. Also, the Norwegians pushing up against the Russians on the north. 
with some fringe help. That's actually really good because they're going to be able to open up another front, so it's going to split the Russian army in half. Our American boys are coming. All right. Now, we got some resistance over in some areas, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that high. Yeah, it's fine. Even right now, that's fine. So, they're, I think they're getting lined up right now. They should feel pretty good. I mean, we got a ton of troops over here. Trying to get them all lined up, basically. I don't want to start it out yet. Alright, so there we go. Now we're going to start our fight. We're going to start pushing up for our... Our men. Sorry that it doesn't look the greatest. But do you know that we are winning? We are very much winning. It looks like we're about to take St. Petersburg, which is actually really good. Now, if we look at the war right now, Russia is at a capitulation rate of 9%. It's really good. Now, of course, we probably won't get that much out of this war because of the fact that... Um... We were attacking down here. We're probably not going to get any territory over in Russia or anything like that. Changing them to democratic would be fantastic. Latvia improved camouflage patterns. Good. Good. So we're not... Yeah, we're not stretching ourselves too thin, so we're fine. We're about to destroy this Russians. Good. We just took St. Petersburg, which I'm guessing is really going to put a damper on the Russians. Yep, that went from 9 to 15. Very good, very good indeed. So these are our boomers. I want to put them over here for strategic bombing purposes. And then can we fly? Can we fly? Oh, I already set those guys. Where are my other planes? Where did I put them? I put them over here. There they are. Can they fly over there? I know you're flying around in Belarus. Oh, my fighters can't make it. But it's fine. It looks like we still have air superiority over here. In Moscow. We're going to drop a bomb on Moscow. One of the biggest hits the Russians are about to take. Boom! Yeah. Take that, you Russians. But for the Russian people, seriously, you guys are, you guys are cool people. It's just we're fighting against your country. I'm so sorry. But we did put a damper on the Russians now. And I still got many more to know where that came from, Sonny. Don't worry about me. I could drop another one if I really want to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to conserve my nukes, at least for now. We are pushing very much. French controls that territory there. French controlled. We are pushing very much, but we are going to pause there for right now, everybody. The war is in full swing. The Norwegians coming up from the north, and then the rest of the NATO nations pushing in from the center, making our way to Moscow surely, surely, slowly, but surely. And of course, we have a lot of other nations to destroy, but the CSTO crumbling to the might of NATO. At least right now. Our American boys also over there. We've already taken what we've wanted. And we're going to continue our rampage. But for right now, Russia. In retreat after the recent nuking of Moscow. Will they be able to hold themselves off? Or will Russia be totally destroyed come very, very soon? We'll have to see. But until then, like the video, of course, if you enjoyed it. Comment anything you basically want to. You know, I don't have a particular question this episode, so comment what you wish. And then, of course, if you have not already, subscribe to see more. But until then, everybody, Glenn Games signing off as always. Take care, everyone.